some other guys asking me about uh, row spacing. So row spacing, it's an important component. And I think, uh, I don't want to steal like your thunder, but you've said that in Virginia, because you need to manage the, the, the respiration, of the, sorry, the heat in the evening, that you actually have stuck with a standard 30 inch row, is that right? Yeah, we, you know, corn, unlike soybeans, corn wants to grow during the heat of the day, and then it also needs to slow down, kind of get its act together, transpire. And we kind of did some stuff. We tried 30 inch row corn, is what we're stuck with. Uh, years ago, we were doing 27 and a half inch. My grandparent, father, and my dad, they got a new corn header, a new planter, and they adjusted the corn header to make it 27 and a half inch. Now the equipment comes 30 inch, so you don't have to do any adjustment. So we went with that, and then we said, well, if we can get more evenly spaced seeds out by going there a row, let's look at it. So we tried some 15 inch row. We had a neighbor had a twin row planter try that. And like you said, trying to cool the plant down. We have realized over time with their 30 inch row spacing, we're allowed to let that corn cool down at night, that heat escapes. And we've seen as much as four degrees difference in temperature with narrow row compared to 30 inch row, or the narrow row trap heat in at nighttime. You see a big difference in the, in the yield results out of that, about in that, that cool down period of the night then? Or have well, you done side by sides? On well, that? when we did the side by sides the first year, we did not see much of a yield difference at all, and that was compared to twin row to the 30 inch. Sure. Last year we did some 15 inch next to 30 inch, and we saw a 15 bushel yield reduction. So I'm not going to say it's going to reduce yeah. yields, but you got to realize what you're limiting up. Limiting factor is, and sure. for us, it's trying to get the heat out at night. Right.